LSU Odyssey Oddcast. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do that one more time. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Wait, wait, wait. One more time. One more time. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One more time around this merry-go-round. Woo! One more time. One more time. Are you with me? Are you with me? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're in. Strap on the jetpacks. Woo! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, baby, a little more to the left. Oh, yeah. Woo! Hell yeah! One more time, one more time. Oh, yeah. Feel, feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Yeah. I am pumped up. I am excited. And people are staring at me. And I think it's hilarious. I am pumped up. This is something we've expected. This is an announcement we've understood. This is an announcement we've anticipated. This is an announcement we prayed for. This is an announcement we've been hoping for for the last two years. LSU running back Ty Davis Price has announced he will forego Kansas State tech, the Tax Act Texas Bowl. Ty Davis Price is entering his name into the NFL draft. What a day for his family. I mean, this is this is a day of vindication. Um full disclosure a lot of you may know this. Some of you may know this. Many of you may not. I've I, I've been pretty close with with, with Ty's family, and um, we've been talking for for two years now, at least two years, if not longer. And um, I've been really i've I've been a bit I've been a big believer in Ty's talents. I've been pulling for Ty all along. Our, our, our writings will show that. You can go back and watch any of our podcasts, appearance, anything. We always believed in Ty, even when people were turning their backs on him. You know, TDP did not have everybody's support like he does right now. You know, even just a few months ago, okay, before October, before that crazy day in October... Even after his 147-yard day against Kentucky, really, him and Keishon Butte, the only silver linings on what was a really sad, horrible, beat-down day, the, the, the game that got Coach O fired, let alone, uh, Ty fought through so much this season, and that's, that's what makes me so proud of Ty in this moment. Not only that he had a thousand yard season, I expected Ty to have a thousand yard season as an LSU back. You expect that when great players come to LSU. You expect that. But it's very hard to have a thousand yard season in 2020. T- only 10 games with that offensive line, so much up in the air, three different quarterbacks starting. It was just, it was bad. And Ty still produced, still had a good year. Still had a few hundred yard games. And, you know, going into this year, what was the talk? Can John Emery produce? Can John Emery be that number one back? You know, flashes from the freshman, from Corey Kiner, from from Armani Goodwin. People were more looking towards those guys to be big for LSU. Okay? And meanwhile, while our, you know, we're, we're doing our analysis and we're talking about Ty... People are kind of laughing at us. People are kind of mocking us, saying, oh, yeah, like Ty is going to be that number one back. You know, what are you talking about, man? You don't know anything about running backs. Ty isn't as good as this person or this person or that person. And I got a lot of flack for sticking by Ty's side. There were people who were straight up accusing me of just, you know, being straight up biased and not doing my job and just, you know, because I'm tight with the Davis Price family, then I'm going to just blindly 
defend and protect Ty. But they got to understand that that's not what was going on at all. When you look at that offensive line and how nobody has sustained success, and then you see what Ty Davis Price was able to do, you've got to take a look in the mirror and say, wow, I was wrong. Okay? I mean, what an incredible last few months from Ty Davis Price. Or I should say last month and a half, really. Last, I mean, the first few games of the season, our offensive line were pitiful. There was nowhere for, for anybody to go. I think the highest rusher was, I think Corey had, Corey Kiner had like 73 yards against McNeese or Central Michigan or something like that. So there was like, there was just so much against our running backs to even be successful this season. So when, you know, coming into the Florida game, and Ty has 287 yards on Florida. Three touchdowns. And let's not forget, let's, 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 he, he had a 45 yard rush that was negated because of a holding penalty. So really, Ty basically had a 300 yard game out there. Okay. 300 yards. I know Florida's defense wasn't the best. That's an SEC defense with SEC talent, and he absolutely wasted them. And I know some people will say, oh, that was all, you know, that was all fill in the blank. That was all Mashburn. That was all, you know, this blocking scheme. Whatever. You know, don't take accomplishments away from my guys, you know. It's just funny how... There are a lot of people who are wrong on Ty Davis Price. And a lot of them were the first to congratulate him for his historic game. Pretending, you know, oh, I was with this guy the whole time. Yeah, I, I just think that's just so... There was just some some stuff that was really unsa- unsavory to me as someone who saw all sides of the situation, you know. There was a time when, during the middle of the season... Where, you know, full disclosure, talking with Ty's family, it was uncertain what was going to happen, and it was it was scary. You know, it was like this is this is Ty's future. There's a lot of guys' future on the line with this team, and, and it just seemed like where is this going? Especially for the running game, the offensive line. What is what are we doing here? Where's the progress going to come from? Where's the change? What, what, what's, what's going on here? You know, it just seemed like we were stagnant. Just nothing. Finally, you know, a few people, Jack Marucci, a few other guys got involved and changed the scheme. And it, it maximized Ty's talents. Finally, an offense that was offensive line. Everything was, was tailored for Ty. And he blew the hell up. Ty averaged just under five yards per carry this season. 1,004 yards rushing. Six rushing touchdowns. Ty, and there was three other touchdowns where he was breaking away. Last man just barely gets him. So we about nine, ten touchdowns basically that he, he should have had pretty much. I'm just so, I am so grateful for the for this journey, you know, to see Ty rise, you know, he had so much pressure on him. Think about it. He had a, he had a new baby. This is his money year. Did he want to come back to LSU for another year and have to do this? Have to battle through? You know, this was the year. John Emery was academically ineligible. There was no, you know, he's not, you know, giving his carries to John. And John, five star talent, you know, he would have taken those some of those carries. So you had Ty being the true number one back, and he took advantage of it big time. 100-yard game against Kentucky, 100-yard game against Alabama, 287 yards, LSU's all-time single-game rushing record. Tops Leonard Fournette, Darius Geis, so many other legendary LSU running backs, Kevin Falk, but no. Ty ran it down Florida's throats, broke Herschel Walker's record. I mean... What are we talking about here? Ty was an absolute freak of nature. And remember, we didn't even see his his receiving abilities as, as much as we could have. He was a he's a very talented receiver out of the backfield too, 
And there's quite a lot of hits that Max Johnson would have taken, extra hits he would have taken, had uh, Ty not been back there being that extra pass protector. Keeping that pocket just a little bit more clean, giving him just a little bit more time. You know, it's he was so valuable to this team. You know, right when Kayshawn Butte goes down, okay, who who's going to be that leader? Who's going to be that guy? And he stepped up right when LSU needed him, taking down top 15 Florida, taking down number 16 Texas A&M, you know, I, absolutely going off against Alabama. I just, Ty Davis-Price had an unbelievable season this year, considering who was blocking for him, what was in his way, who was in his way, the defenses he was playing against, and he absolutely destroyed them. Think about it. This is basically Ty running by himself for for at least 60% of these yards. Just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. And suddenly, before you know it, he'd have, you know, 80-plus yards, and then he'd get his 100-yard game. Like, this is a very, very, very talented, skilled running back with vision, with underrated pace. I, I just think Ty was was extremely underrated, extremely just... He wasn't given the attention or the dues he, he deserved. And it's so funny to see, you know, USA Today giving him the, the team MVP... You know, all these people having to kind of come back around on all the crap they said. You know, there's a lot of a lot of interesting shade and a lot of interesting stuff going on. And Ty just didn't care. He just kept pushing. You know, he with, with his new daughter Brooklyn, just turned six months. He 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 really he did everything he could to provide for his family this year. Ty put his family on his shoulders. He put LSU on his shoulders, and he carried us. He carried us to at least a six, you know, six win, five hundred season. When LSU, it did not look like that was possible, did it? It didn't look like that was possible because of uh, you know players like Ty Davis Price being unbelievable Tigers in a season when we needed everybody to, to give their all just to get over that line with so much going on, so much negativity at times. And Ty was big time purple and golden silver lining uh, of this team. Um, Wow, a purple and golden silver lining, a purple and golden lining of this team. I am so, I'm so happy for Ty. We expected the announcement. It's very telling that he waited this long to give the announcement. I think he was that torn. I think, you know, but seeing what's going on with the landscape, his probability of getting drafted a lot higher um, this season than next even, you know, he he'd probably raise his stock big time next year with a renewed offensive line. But at the same time, he's accomplished what he's needed to. He's got a national championship on his finger, a thousand yard season. You know, he he had six touchdowns as a freshman, you know, of the 2019 team. This is a young man who who's accomplished it all at LSU, and I am just, I'm so proud of Ty Davis Price. Ty, you're a hell of a Tiger. We absolutely love you, man. And just, we know you're going to do amazing things at the next level. Go Tigers, baby. I'm so proud of you, Ty.